हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिस आरती विनय कागवाड़े आई एम द ट्रेनिंग एंड प्लेसमेंट ऑफिसर ऑफ चांगू काना ठाकुर ए कॉलेज पनवे सो टुडे आई ब्रिंग टू यू अ टॉपिक दैट इज कॉल्ड जनरल एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट नाउ स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव सीन दैट इन दिस कॉम्पिटेटिव मार्केट फॉर वन और टू पर्टिकुलर वेकेंसी देर आर थाउजेंड्स एंड यू नो टेन थाउजेंड्स ऑफ एप्लीकेशंस नाउ हाउ डज अ कंपनी really segregate this or screen the biodaters which have come in huge numbers for one or two vacancies so the companies would probably go in for a general aptitude test this aptitude test has become an very essential and important part for screening and shortlisting of biodata these days even for on campus recruitments today let us see that what are the areas covered in aptitude test so the various parameters that are covered in uh, in general aptitude test would be first verbal ab ability and reading comprehension second is data interpretation and logical reasoning and third would be quantitative aptitude so students the training and placement cell has designed two papers set of papers for you to get an idea as to how you compete with the rest so this sample papers basically have three sections 30 marks each and the first section would be verbal ability and reading comprehension there would be 10 questions of 10 marks each second would be data interpretation and logical reasoning again 10 questions of 10 marks third would be quantitative aptitude again 10 questions of 10 marks so all together the total time limit for this test is 1 hour and there is no negative marking so let us understand in detail what each of the sections would comprise of first would be verbal ability and reading comprehension now students this these sets of questions would probably judge you on your communication and critical thinking skills why are these skills required so as a fresher when you work in groups when you work in teams you know so you require good clear and precise communication so there are certain set of questions which are designed to understand your communication and your critical thinking skills so sample questions would be sentence formation sentence correction finding the grammatical errors and so on right so these are the examples of verbal ability and reading comprehension next data interpretation or di what is this so this is analyzing data presented in the form of graphs charts tables or caselets and interpreting it to answers and basically you should be clear in your thought process so here in this section quick understanding with accurate mathematical calculations is very very essential students practice is very essential for this particular section and what are the importance for having a good data interpretation basically it means that you have good decision making problem solving skills and it can be used in real world case problem solving skills if you score well in your data interpretation that also means that you have good analytical skills time management skills and accuracy so it's some of the examples could be that you would be shown a graph and asked whether in which year the number of students have increased potentially so looking at the graph looking at the numbers you should be able to analyze and give accurate answers next section would be logical thinking so it refers to the process of using reasoning consistently to come to a conclusion so you have to break down a problem or a situation in a structured and methodological way identify the relationships between the components and come to a logical conclusion now there are different different reasoning patterns for example deductive reasoning example could be all humans are mortal if this is the statement given socrates is a human is another statement given what is the logical question or a deduction that you can make you can say socrates is mortal because it the statement is given all humans are mortal so 
so there are various various ways of judging your reasoning like inductive reasoning critical thinking you would be given a pattern and asked to find the next sequence then the last section would be quantitative aptitude quantitative aptitude your ability to solve numerical sums efficiently is judged so there will be various types of examples which would be given right from arithmetic algebra geometry data interpretation and probability or statistics so students you need not worry and your quantitative aptitude test these questions are only from your 8th 9th and 10th standard course or curriculum now there are ample of resources available online these are the few links wherein you can take a free online test there are various books also available in fact there are books available in a library more than 8000 books are available and this is one of them we also have a marathi version of it so that is the best part so kindly get in touch with the library people and get a copy today itself so as i said rs agarwal is already available in our library please do come and refer to it you can also take the sample tests from the placement cell as i have explained the pa paper pattern earlier now let us understand how you can take this test so you have to simply scan this qr code register yourself by filling the google form then you have to join a whatsapp group in that you will be shared a schedule of the test which will be starting from october you have to simply select a date as per your convenience and then take the test from the college you have to come and meet me on that particular date that you have selected come to college and take this test from this college after the test is over immediately you will get to know your results and the correct answers as well so i hope you will benefit from this efforts of the training and placement cell thank you very much